Is this thing on? Mic check. Is this thing on? Mic check. And welcome Mike back, check, everybody, check, to the Never Mind Podcast, the podcast where I, Veronica Slaykoska, and my co host is Kyle Chase. And we talk about all things <laughs> sports, pop culture, sports, politics, and um, grocery shopping. shopping. Uh, all right. right. So it is a Monday morning here in uh, beautiful New York. It is a, an overcast day. And Birds flying high, you know how it feel. What Sun was that? Sun in the sky, mm-hmm. you know how it feel. We were. What um, song is that? What do you mean? That's it's a new dawn. Yeah, it's a new day. Who is that? That's so Nina Simone. It, it, no, who's um, that? My brain, guys, my brain. Everyone's um, going like this, Nina Simone. That's not Nina Simone, unless it is. No, it's originally, I think, Frank Sinatra, but Michael Buble has an incredible rendition of it that he did that is on par to to Frank Sinatra's, if I, if I am correct. Frank, you think, is the original? Google. Now we just have to look this okay, up. Okay, God Google. damn it. Um, this wasn't even planned. Well, Nothing. no, the reason why I know this is because, so in- uh, I had this musical theater class in my high school where you put on a musical uh, that you write as well. And I did it t- two years in a row. And the first year um, we did uh, we, we did this musical based off Clue, the board game. Mm-hmm. And uh, I played the detective because it was a grade 12 class and I was in grade 10 because I knew that I was absolutely just designed for the arts. Um, Nina Simone, by the way. Thank you, everybody. Did Frank Sinatra ever do it? I will take my check. Thank did Frank you. Sinatra ever do it? <sighs> Michael Bublé definitely did it. Michael Bublé definitely did it. Yes. And if you're ever confusing the two of them, we're going to have to have a conversation. No, 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 no. I just want to know if Frank Sinatra ever touched that song. If he didn't, I'll owe you a big kiss. And I'm feeling good. So th- that was like, I remember in both years, the musicals always started really. Frank Sinatra Jr. did it. Who the hell is that? His that, son? That would be Frank Sinatra Jr. I keep putting away the computer before I look is any that, further than that. Is that his son? Let or is that pull, actually him? Let me just pull up the computer. This is crazy. You can't be doing this. One more time. We need is Connery back. Frank Sinatra Jr. We need Connery is back. Frank we need Sinatra s- Jr. Also, how do we feel? Okay, wait. I, I'm just getting sidetracked already. We're two minutes in here. I'm getting sidetracked left, right, and center. So I'll continue with this. And then I want to go to the junior conversation after that. Mm-hmm. So he's the son, Frank Sinatra, Fr- Francis Wayne Sinatra. Professionally known as Frank Sinatra Jr., American singer, songwriter, conductor. He was the son, as he is since deceased, he was the son of singer and actor Frank Sinatra and his first wife, Nancy Barbado. Barbado Sinatra. Well, now we can put away the computer, can't we? The and younger you brother of singer and actress, uh, actress Nancy Sinatra and Great. the older brother of television producer Tina Sinatra. Well, now you can look at me and listen to my stories about my musical theater class in both uh, 10th grade and 11th grade. So okay. we did So we did Clue, the musical. And the first, I remember both years, the, the musical started off really strong and then to actually continue the musical hard because we had to write them. So the first one was like this. And I, was, I remember I was like, there's a murder or something. And then I remember like, fi- like fi- finding something and I was like, Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. I had a trench coat on. So, were you supposed to use songs that already existed, or was well, this something? That was, well, I don't think that was the, that was mm-hmm. mandatory, but it was just easier mm-hmm. because we were high school students and we were doing other things like going to high school, mm-hmm. playing sports. Dating, what losing grade did our you virginity, get? drinking lots, partying. What was that one in there? Things that cool people, cool kids would do. Um, so, so the musical theater. So they were usually jukebox were musicals, focusing which, on trying to do the things that the cool kids were doing, like the jocks. Well, musical musical the theater kids are known for being horny, extra horny. Yeah, of course. Am I one of the? Am I in that category? Well, 
this is a podcast I don't speak uh, about personal stuff. So I won't answer. Yes. So, and the thing is, so then the next year we did Super Smash Bros. The musical. Mm. I think I, have I said this? Yeah. I've definitely told you this. Yeah, oh, you have. But anyways, uh, long story short for those new listeners, hi everybody. Um, I ended up having a romance with Luigi. And you were Mario. And I was Peach. Oh, backwards, that's backwards. I know. That is, no, I feel like that <sighs> exists somewhere on the internet. A dark part of the internet. Oh, like a Luigi Peach kind of like she's cheating on the, with yes. the brother. Corn. Kind of thing. Yeah. Prawn. Cornography. Prawn. Mm. Um, Prawn is what you eat. Corn is what you eat. Prawn is the lingo and slang for so, junior conversation here. Now I'm back. Okay. Um, junior conversation. How do we feel about juniors? And I'm sorry. Listen, I'll tell you right now. I'm sorry if you're a junior. I'm sorry if you have a junior. <laughs> I'll preface that. Go ahead. But these are just opinions that I have and they're opinions that are correct. I'm sorry if you're a junior and I'm sorry if you have a junior <laughs> is crazy. It's possible. Um, it's just a funny thing to say. So how, what do you think about you juniors? So juniors. Okay, so we're talking you know, like Frank Sinatra Jr. That's right. And like including the junior in the name? Specifically name, if you had a son and you named him Kyle Jr. Mm-hmm. But Kyle then, Chase Jr. But okay, so let's say- Already that's icking me a little bit. Let's say his name was Kyle Chase Jr., yeah. which I wouldn't do. But then we called him KJ for Kyle Jr. Does that work or no? That's the nickname, but the but the but on the document, on the legal- It does say Jr. It does say Jr. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it can be cool. Uh, maybe- Lacking creativity a little bit, sure. I want you to go the fuck in. I don't want you to be. But I do know but meandering I, here. I don't I mind it. You. I don't mind a junior. I don't mind someone who's like, you know, one of my favorite baseball players of all time, Ken Griffey Jr. Listen, son of Ken Griffey, who was also a great baseball player, right? You know it's, what I mean. It's just because then what happens after that? You become junior, junior. No, you become the third, triple, trip. Often, often, it's not sitting well here. It's not sitting well in my gut here. Often, a nickname, if you are the third, is Trip. Trey is another one. It's it's giving. It's it's not giving it's not giving narcissist, but it's giving love yourself and and hey, that's okay. You know what I mean? Like I would never in my life. Name my daughter Veronica Jr. Well, do women do that? I was just gonna say it's interesting. No, because so men are murderers. Stop that. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. But no, I've actually never. I've never considered that. I've never met a. Somebody needs to study this. Somebody a woman junior. I can't think Someone of one off the top this. of my head. Someone needs well, to study this. Okay, well, it doesn't need to be studied. It's because listen. It's because. Um, Traditionally speaking, in a marriage, the woman takes the man's last name. Wait, what? In which case, there wouldn't be no- That seems unfair. To be honest, sure. Okay, hypothetically, in this hypothetical world, we get married. Yeah. Let's say in three or four years. Okay. Okay, hypothetically. Hypothetically. Um, would you ever take my last name? No. That's a no. Would you expect me to take your last name? I wouldn't expect it, especially- But you would appreciate it and you would prefer that. I would appreciate it, but I wouldn't expect it, would especially because, it? no, I wouldn't prefer it because you have a- Awesome last name. That means Nightingale in Polish and that's my Polish heritage and, and my, my, my family roots. Yeah, that's exactly why. So you wouldn't take that? I wouldn't take that because my name has its own- personal roots to my family as well. 
And also, you are already starting and creating this career for yourself with the name Veronica Slavikoska. And I would say that 99 times out of 100 in cases like that, the woman just keeps the name. So what would you give, like, you know what, what I mean? would you give me? Because I've thought about this. Maybe I fucked up in my career. I didn't get a stage name, right? Like, so what would you name, like, what would my stage name be? It, like, what do you think it would be good? As an actor? Sure, whatever. Comedian. I like I like the nickname Ika, which is cool. It's unique. Yeah. Mm, but it has to be based on. So you don't have a middle name too, so it's kind of tough. No, no. I don't want you to just make one up for me. Like Emma Stone's name is not Emma Stone. What is it? No idea. Okay. Jonah Hill, not Jonah Hill. That's not true. Yes. What? His sister's name is Beanie Feldstein. It could be a half sister. Full sister. Could be they just. The parents didn't take last not, names and they just chose name. different not last his real names. Name. There's a lot of them. Um, Ika. You know, it'd actually be kind of cool. Just that. Just Ika. I thought about that. I thought about that. If I was a singer, if I was a pop star, 100%. But not as a. Zendaya? Yeah, but I'm not Zendaya. Sinbad? I'm not. I'm I'm just a girl. But you could be Ika. I think it comes down... Okay, okay, okay. Hot, um, uh, hot take. We can do the music. It's not that hot. This is... Okay, I'm thinking of this right now. I've had a little coffee. My brain's working. I think that's kind of done now. The star... You know what I mean? When you pick your starting because it's easier to remember to whatever. As, and it, it's the same, we're in an era right now of like influencers looking, like being like super polished. Inst you know what I mean? Instagrams, mm -hmm. all those things. Like it's just like boring, boring, boring. I think now it's like not trying is kind of in, in a way that's like just being authentically yourself and like, been saying that. Yes, but just like, so I think now, I don't know if people are doing this, this the stage name, star name anymore. But I guess it's Veronica is cool. In acting, you mean? In stardom. Besi besides a band, besides besides singers. Yeah, I was gonna say, exactly. So in acting, because musicians totally do that. Yes, that's it. But I mean, I'm talking comedian, I'm talking actors. Yeah. Like is Matt name Matt Rife's name Matt Rife? Probably. Probably is. Is my name Kyle you, Chase? Yeah, but you have a great. This is probably your name is is written for the stars. My name is written to. Uh, my name's written to make pierogies and give you them for free because I'm a nice girl. And are they meat or cheese pierogies? They are. Um, they are cottage cheese potato. Origin yeah. The original. Episode 40. What the uh, heck? How guys, did we get into episode, episode 40? 40? It seems, seems like, like just, just yesterday, yesterday we, we were sitting on the on couch, couch in the other room. room. And, and now we're, we're doing, doing this here. here? You, you gotta guys be kidding, kidding me. me. I'm, I'm Veronica. Veronica. And, and I'm, I'm Kyle. Kyle. And, and we, we are in together the, the not doing a podcast. podcast. And this is episode 40. That means we are 10 times four episodes in, which is Kay. pretty cool. The it means that we've been going for a while. I'm going to say it because I always have to. Hit the fucking like button. Hit the comment subscribe button. Hit the... One other, one other. Actually, we have bonus Patreon. You know the drill. You bonus know Patreon. This. What's up? Bonus Patreon. Okay. Uh, live show. Live show, August 8th. August 8th in Brooklyn. Live show, August 8th. And live show, August 8th in Brooklyn. 10 p.m. Let's party. Let's get it down. Let's have a good time. And we can, we can announce this, but I forgot 
the dates, but that's okay. Of? Live show in... <gasps> da, da, da. London and Dublin. London and Dublin. We're going London to Europe. London and Dublin and London and Dublin. And it's going to be announced, it will be announced the week that we are in right now, and it will have already been announced by the time this comes out. I love prefacing that every time we're talking about something like that. Yep. And we're rocking and we're rolling yep. and we are vibing. Veronica, what's going, what's going on? Gone? What's going on? What's going on? I had some things to say. Oh, okay. So it's overcast here, which means I am... We played volleyball yesterday for, and you know, you know, if you're a repeat, repeat listener of hi everybody, we're playing volleyballs on volleyballs Sundays, and so that it's a Monday today, Monday morning. I was, we were ripping it last night for about five hours. I'm exhausted. Mm-hmm. I'm exa- my my body's like this. The thing is, I was exhausted before we even started playing because we had a night out uh, we in did, Dime we Square. Did, we did. We did. And trying I, to trying to be in New York. We did, we did, and I I did have a couple orange glasses of wine because it's the summertime. Um, but anyway, so th- I'm having a little bit of coffee. My brain's working. I have a uh, okay. Can we do a little improv scene right now? I thought of this in the car. Okay. Okay. So also also I had an improv show this weekend, and that was I think I'm tired from that as well. Oh anyway, for sure, it was a weekend. So it was much a weekend. Fun. If you ever, if I'm ever in your city. And we bring improv, but good. Or you're ever in New York, um, please come out. It's the best please. show ever. It's so much fun. We rented headset mics, and it was like I felt like a fucking pop star. It's a musical improv show. It's so we we improvise a whole uh, musical, and we get some of the best comedians in the freaking world on it, and it's so much fun. Um, so this is this is I, I was just thinking about this. I was like listening to Birds of a Feather. Still a banger, still going for me. It's still hitting for me. Mm-hmm. Um, f- c- so we're gonna. I'm gonna be Billie Eilish, and you're gonna be Phineas. Okay. And it's gonna be that us them like writing a song. We're making a song right yep. now. Okay. Okay. And see me again. Okay. <clears throat> do you hey, like? Bro. Do you like the? Hey, bro. Do you like these chords? <laughs> G chord. Yeah. Okay. I'm loving that. Bro, you're my brother, right? Yeah. And you're also like my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> it's that. It's crazy. All right. Well, let's get <laughs> recording because um, I think mom and dad are going to be home soon. Okay. So, um, oh, all right. Dang. You ready? Well, I wonder what, hey, bro, I wonder what we're having for dinner. I think mom said she was going to make her um, beef Wellington. Beef. Bro, I'm vegan. It's it's with um, impossible meat. Oh hell yeah! Okay, I'm loving that. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna press record, and yeah. then you'll hear the click in, and you know how it goes. Okay. Right, we're gonna start. Okay, you ready? Yep. Beep 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 beep. So you wanna take me for a ride? So you wanna see us tonight? Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Sorry. Um, can we just get a bit? It's cool. Like I like the I like where we're going. Can yeah, you just bro. get a bit s- softer? Yeah, absolutely, it? bro. Absolutely, bro. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah. And then like really like when you get soft like that, you really have to get up on the mic. Okay. 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 So here we go. Beep, 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 beep. So you wanna take me for a ride, 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 ride. So you wanna take me home tonight. Okay, I'm gonna stop you, you right there. Sorry, Billy. Um it's really good. I'm actually like really loving this. I think this Thank is going to be this is going to be huge. Thank you, bro. We have the I just same want, mom and dad. I just want you to be if you if it's possible just like a bit softer yeah. and quieter. Absolutely. For this song because what's bro, it about? You I know love what I mean? you, bro, and I and I love and I, okay, let's hit it. Okay, you ready? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Beep 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 beep. So you want to say me right? Say you want to take me home tonight. Hey, you don't seem to know the truth. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Hey, hey, ooh, ooh, hey, 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 ooh, ooh. Can you want to take it? Do you want to take it home? Night. Um, God. Holy shit. Billy. We, we got, got it. We got it. Mom, dad. 
Dinner's ready. End scene. That was pretty spot on. So, okay. I hope she sees that. I think that would be my nightmare. I don't think that's her real name. I'll say that right now. It's uh, Billie Eilish O'Connell. Fuck. That's a cool name. Yeah, because it's Phineas O'Connell. Did I get the short end of the stick? Crap. I went to uh, um, my one of my professors in college. His name is Billy O'Connell. Yeah. I moved to LA. Suddenly there's this Billie Eilish. I look her up. Her name's Billy O'Connell. Are they related? Not at all. <laughs> Um, well, we watched the Love Island uh, finale last night. Oh, Take man. it away, Kyle. So, okay. You know, once this this last, these last few weeks, right? It's kind of just rounding third, heading for home kind of thing. There's not really more drama. Um, people have found their mates that they've this picked. This is a good one. Audio listeners only. I'm drinking a Synergy Raw Kombucha Gingerade. This is the good one. Continue. Thank you. And it's the part, I don't want to say it's boring, but everything that is dramatic, high stakes, has already occurred as far as the relationships go. At this point, it's mostly about who has that strong relationship that everybody knows and loves and who's going to win the $100,000. And so now, that's what like the last... It's, <laughs> six episodes are kind of well gearing towards, you know, is just Are you going like, to be honest or are you going to lie to our listeners? I'm going to be honest. So we <laughs> missed episodes. The last episode that we watched before we watched the finale. So I think we missed about six episodes. No, the last yeah. episode we watched before the, oh, it was probably six. Yeah. Was, um. Striptease. They brought in a new girl. Well, she was from the last season. They brought in Cassie. Cassie. And of course, she gets paired up with Rob. Yeah. And uh, Harrison. We didn't watch any. We didn't watch any of it. Harrison and we didn't even see them get paired up. His girl leave, but of course that's going to happen. Anyway, whatever. We missed a lot of it. Um, I was shocked to turn on the TV and see that Aaron and Kayler were not in the top four, especially given shocked. I was shocked. I was. I wasn't. Given that, I don't know the rules of the game, I guess. If the rules are- No, the rules are he cheated hard. So did- No, he didn't. The winner. No. Listen, no. Different. Different. I don't agree with what he did, but so different. She was, Serena was giving mixed messages. She said she was still open. You're right, you're right, she you're was right. Giving you're right. What, you're Kayler right. was from day one. You're right. But here's the thing about all of it is that they were the hated ones all over social media. Cordell and Aaron post Casa yeah. hated, hated. No one, no one fucked with them, right? Yep. So I was just assuming that as long as Cordell was still rocking, that Aaron would still be rocking. Yeah. But no, Aaron but by- Aaron, I think went a little too. Also poetic that both him and Rob were not in the final four. Yep. Buddies, right? So final four, you got Janae and Kenny, fake relationship in my opinion. You got Miguel and Leah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fake relationship you in my opinion. You think who's fake? Who's fake? Both of them. At that point- at, Damn. At a certain point in it, you have to- I don't think to, they're that fake. You have to kind of be like, at a certain point, you have to kind of think to yourself, there is a prize at the end of this that is not the relationship aspect. And so if you're not finding the relationship part of it, then you just go for the prize. Listen, I- And I think some people were going for the prize. You missed the episode where Kenny was bawling when he came back from Casa and hurt- Janae. Hurt Janae. Okay. But anyways- Fair enough. Well, I'll tell you what, the, so, look, on, the look on Kenny's face when he yeah. was told that he came in third place- and was not winning the one hundred thousand dollar prize was absolutely disappointing. We're gonna we're gonna keep tabs on these relationships, and we're gonna see who's who's going the distance. I'm and also by the distance. I I mean about three months. So shocked because that's where I'll forget it. I'm so shocked that Kendall and Nicole were fourth out of those four couples. You the think top, they're the most genuine? The top two should have been Serena Cordell, Nicole. 
Kendall. I would have loved for Nicole and Kendall to win. It's okay. They got each other, so they did win. Yeah. Because I believe in them. I believe in their love. I believe in their love. Serena and Cordell also, I believe in them. So they won, and they won twice by each getting a little 50K. And now it's over, and I'm going to miss them. I'm already excited to watch. I'm already excited to watch Rob on Call Her Daddy. Oh yeah, Huge. we were thinking that we we were ending the episode yesterday. We're, like, we're gonna miss these guys. They're like our friends for the summer. I'm um, speaking of Love Island. Um, I'm listening to. Um, Can I say one more thing yeah, really quick? On. Just very quickly. I do. You know, I was anti Love Island as we uh, also. Started. I love that Serena and and Cordell won. Yeah, I yeah. love that. Okay, I was anti the show. Yep. And I think they got a really good cast this year. A lot of likable people, a lot of funny people, a lot of unlikable people. Yeah. And I love how how much of a cultural thing it was. It felt it very is. communal and it felt like a big moment. You could not, and maybe it was just because I'm I am watching it. Yes, and it was, so it's I like see it everywhere. Usually. But it was just everywhere. But this time specifically I, I didn't the ratings were up. Huge. Yes. They had more than mm-hmm. twice as many viewers yeah. this season than they did last season. Yeah. Just huge. Huge. Speaking of Love Island. Yes. Another transition here. Okay. I was waiting for it. Ready? Speaking of Love Island, Lonely Island. Oh, another island. That's right. Which I would say are probably, like, if they were real places, two very different islands. Absolutely. One is a comedy island and one is a love one. Well, sure. I, I meant minus all of that. One of them is Lonely as in it's called Lonely Island. And the it could other, the show could have been called The Lonely Island. Love Island. Yeah. You think? Sure. Okay. So The Lonely but Island. It, it's more of a pe- uh, pessimistic view. Sure. Um so I've been listening to the uh Love The Lonely Island and Seth Meyers podcast. What's it called? I think it's called The Lonely Island Island and Seth Meyers really? podcast. <laughs> I think it is. Um uh, I'm loving it. And they're going through all the, I'm, I'm doing a- SNL history? I'm doing an SNL, uh, it's the summer of comedy for me. I'm doing a lot of shows. I'm doing, um, I'm watching the older seasons of SNL and, and newer ones. And some sketch shows uh, like Mr. Show and Portlandia, all these things. And it's really good. I'm really loving it. and And I'm learning just like, it's so fun listening to, because I don't even know how old I was when when that was coming out, but uh, how just terrified and knew they were and mm-hmm. like how they came up with all these things and just like learning how to trust yourself. And that was, that had to be I like middle school, Lonely. high school. Yeah. Middle school for sure. Middle school into like. Yeah. 2006 I, or seven. I was going to say started. five to like 2009, I feel like was oh, yeah, that maybe, era maybe. maybe. Yeah. It was awesome, and um, and it's funny because their humor is still like when I think about that time, even a little later, uh, like Andy Samberg and Adventure Time and like Community and that kind of like humor, like they still have it, which is really nice. funny. But and it holds up, like it's still funny. It, it 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 is funny, but it is like in a weird way like dated. I'm like, oh, right. Like Andy Samberg was like, so like, I remember my friend Alex would just like try and be kind of like an Andy Samberg and like even had like the longer hair and like the headband. Yeah. And like, we were just like really trying to do what they were doing and musical comedy. Like they made it kind of cool with like, yeah, even, even like, uh, th- um, what's one? Like eyes across the room. Yeah. And, uh, Jizz in my pants. Yeah. Um, they, like at that time, like even the music was like, they were, it was kind of a banger as in they really replicated the songs of yes, that time. They were hits. Were, I'm I on a boat. I'm on a boat. No, that's what I mean. Like, but even like the, 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 and that like, I like when they say, da, 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 like when the, like the beginning, like they really went off and yeah. I'm like, fuck, they need to kind of do that shit again. No, they made actual. Bangers. Actual hits. And of course it's. Corny and you know, but but at that time, that's what it was, yeah, yeah. you know, and it was awesome. And but but it is like if you did that now, 
I just, it's crazy just like how much obviously comedy evolves and stuff. But what's the one that you said? Oh, we like sports. That was pre that was pre, yeah, pre SNL. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But then they had this one that I admittedly, I don't, I think they admitted to that it wasn't that awesome. But like, uh, because the, the, yeah, they, they kind of started the, um, now please don't destroy does it digital, um, short? digital shorts and well well they will ferrell started it with adam mckay and then they went on to to do it which they talked about and like this is just a podcast recapping <laughs> recapping another podcast <laughs> but anyways um they taught they I, i'm literally doing it as like i just finished watching that episode and then i started listening to the pot podcast like the snl episode and then the podcast talking about when they wrote and how they wrote it yeah which was just by accident and it's been really fun but um so there's this one and it's with will forte also will forte was like oh my god icon icon like he was kind of like the first alt comic on you think so yeah like kind of a that. bit off beat had different ideas like in terms of alt comedy it, like you know what that is now. I mean, he was in some, I mean, I, this was He was in like traditional sketches, but like- No, I was going to say he was in like Tim and Eric stuff. That's what I mean. Which I think was post. Post. I don't know. But like, I remember MacGruber was like my favorite back then. I, I, I can't lie. You hated it. Oh my God. I loved it. And like the MacGruber and movie. And Gilly. I was also a kid. Yeah. Like yeah. truly well, not, not, like I was like 12. Um, But the, it's, it's Will Forte and- uh, Andy Samberg and they're like sitting and like talking about something serious, but they just keep eat, eating a head of lettuce like an apple, and it is a bit random humor. But and that's I, funny. But it was like I see what like they were kind of it was the kind of the beginning of something. Yeah. And, anyways, it's just interesting listening to them. Like, even though they were so new and young, that at the beginning they were trying to like conform to the SNL format and then it was really just like about them trusting themselves and they kind of got hired for doing what they did mm -hmm. in this way and I don't know and I love how like they're still all friends and and I love how Andy Samberg's married to Joanna Newsom did you know that no oh yeah I did not know that they don't talk about that but golden era though that SNL because we were as they said on the show, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the doc. Um, but but actually, though, yeah. I mean, maybe that is what it is. But I loved that cast so much. Definitely, they just were free and like Young, Fred Armisen's a genius, in my opinion, and, and Bill Hader. Free. But anyways, um, married to Joanna Newsom. Do you know Joanna Newsom? You don't know who that is. Yeah, I do. Who is it? She, music head. Is from ah, you didn't even know she was a musician. The band. No, she is the band. Oh, Peach Pompeer. Peach. Oh yeah, of That's course. Her. Okay, she's a harp player. That makes sense, actually. Yeah, I can see that. Oh yeah, it's again very much that era. Uh, big time. Big time. Huge, like yeah. like uh, like Juno. Yes. The soundtrack. Yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Which I just rewatched. She's a bit more, it's an awesome movie. It's awesome. She She's a bit more like fairy-like mm -hmm. and um, mystical. And, but I was thinking about this too, that once again, the funny guys get the hot, cool girls. Actually, Andy Silver, Joanna is, is awesome and uh, very smart and whatever, but like- just comedians going for hot. What are you talking about? Just how guy comedians get hot girls and girl comedians get called ugly. Like who? Me. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm talking about with the guys. Like, and then maybe these are just hot. They're hot, smart girls. Like, like uh, what's his name? Olivia Wilde. Yeah. But she's hot and smart. Olivia Wilde and Jason Sudeikis. Yeah. And they are- Hot and smart. And? They are divorced. Yes. Maybe I'm, what's my theory here? There has to be another one, but I don't have any examples right now. Mulaney? Mulaney went for a hot one. But that's okay if you're going for hot people. What I'm saying is these are men, no offense to them, I love them. A little bit, these women are not in their league. But girls like a funny guy. But 
and men don't like a funny girl. I don't think that's true. As far as men, girls liking funny guys. Actually, I think Kristen Wiig's married to a younger hot guy. Can we look that up? Can I look that up? Look that up. I think she. I think she's married to a hot young guy. So I might have just. I would also like to say disproven my first and foremost that you're not ugly, and that you're beautiful, and that you even step onto this podcast week after week, no makeup, showing that true, true self, that true beauty. Thank you. My skin's been doing good. And I know for a fact that there are plenty and plenty and plenty of fellas lined up ready to knock at your door. I think so. This Figur- guy's hot. Hypothetically and, and, and figuratively speaking, that is. This is a hot As far couple. as lining up and hot. knocking at your door, not to reference last week's episode, but they're figuratively lined up at your door. They are not at your door knocking. Because that Thanks, would be Kyle. weird. And we have now security in Do you think I could date Jacob Lordy? Do you think yeah. I could pull a Jacob Lordy? Yes. Really? Yeah. I think you could pull Jacob Lordy. Do you think I could pull I like this game. Um, do you think I could pull? Mm, Tiffany Chalamet? I'm gonna say on that one that he is happily taken. Is he still with her? Yes. Really? Yes. How do you know this? There's been no, there's been nothing of them being separated. You just have to assume. Nothing of them together. You just have to assume. Um, I think if that if he wasn't dating her, if he was I single. think that you could, but I don't think you would I don't think you would want to. Why? I don't think you would like to. There's no way that he's I'm not gonna talk shit on Timothy Chalamet because you I'm, gonna, should. I'm gonna be friends with him one day. <laughs> he's gonna be he's gonna be on the podcast. He's gonna one be day. on the podcast one day. So yeah. I'm not gonna talk shit this is manifesting right here. On him. Uh-huh. But um you know, I Think I feel like he's a really good guy. Wait, go off. He's in my dream last night. Really? Yeah. What happened? I told you I went to college. Oh yeah. At twenty eight and eight years old. Yeah. To I, get your degree. To get my degree in something because I thought because my my biggest insecurity. Hi everybody. My biggest insecurity is that I'm dumb, and I always think I'm really stupid and. So anyways, I decided to go back to college in the stream. And then for some reason, I was still living here sometimes in community. Commuting, it wasn't really clear. And then he lived in this really big house with his family in New York. And for some reason, he was either in my class or something, but we were not dating or anything. We were just like friends in it. And I was like going to his house. And I was like, oh yeah, I've been here before. I can't remember what... I have dreams like that all the time. Weird. Just like where they are completely platonic relationships with people that I just think are cool. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Um, like I always used to, and it happened like multiple times. And I don't even know why, because I don't even, I would say I actually never think about this person. Actually. Whoa. And I would always have dreams about just being friends with Miley Cyrus. <laughs> where it was like that type of thing. Where I'm like yeah. in like a crowd of people yeah. and she like opens up a door and she's like, yo, hey, like, on. she's like, come in. I and love I'm like, that. oh my God, like, Can thank we, you for he, saving me. Here's a fun game. Who do you think, I'm going to think of this for you and you think of this for me. Okay. Who would be your perfect celebrity match? Like my perfect celebrity match. You're like, oh wow, I could see you dating that person. Okay. And I'm going to think of, and, and and it has to be, actually, I'll go any era, but they don't, you know what I mean? Not like right now? We could go, fuck. No, we could go right now. Okay. Shit. Uh, Perfect celebrity match. Yeah. For Veronica Slutikoska. But you could maybe like, well, whatever. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to think for you as well. Oh, got it. Okay, you go. Because I don't know. Hunter Shaver. For me? Yes. What is that? Why would you say that? I don't, I, 
she's just so cool and beautiful and like kind of like I feel like yours would look really good together and she seems very sweet and caring and I feel and she's fashiony and you're fashiony and like I feel like that would be a really and you'd have a lot to talk about and like cool see that's that's another person who I often think about as wanting to be friends with yep see I'm right like, but that also goes with, you know, someone like Timothy Chalamet. Not that I actually really want to right. be friends with him. That's a pretty good answer, right? I did at first. That's an okay answer. Okay, go for me. For you, I'm going to say... Hmm. I feel like, so this is my... Also Charlie XCX. I could see that. Okay. Where I'm going with you. I'm giving you amazing answers, amazing women, and you're going. No, okay. no, 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 no. Because this is what I'm thinking for you. Yeah. I'm thinking that you're leaning more in my head uh, towards like a music person. I think that you definitely would want, I mean, if we're talking, you know, celebrity match, whatever, they're definitely going to be in one of the arts or maybe sports, but I don't think you would date a sports guy. I would see in music. Kind of like, um, I'm trying to think of like dudes in music right now who are really on that sort of. You could think not music too. No, but I'm thinking music because that's I've already made that decision. Okay, and I have a follow up question after this. That it's a music person. You know what I honestly want to say? Because yeah. I just feel like it's like he would really, 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 I think also benefit from the relationship. Benefit, benefit. Yeah, yeah. Interesting, interesting And that word. he's getting like- Interesting choice of words. He's laughing <gasps> and he's like really just like, you know, in love. Who? Justin Bieber. <laughs> and that's serious. That's not even a joke. <laughs> I like it. You think he would go for me? Yeah. He's happily married. I don't even want to he touch is that. Married. With and with a pregnant woman. He's married. Stop. We can't be doing that. Happily married. I'm, I'm not, not sure, doing I'm anyway, not that he's woman. Married, I'm he's not married. that woman. But okay, but you said, you know, whatever. That's I mean, interesting. Charlie XCX is engaged, you know? Yes, of course. Of whatever. Course. But um uh, I could uh, see that. I would absolutely would love to. I could see that. I'd love to do that. And then I also could see like a sort of enigmatic uh, actor, like someone who you don't really like see a lot about. They're not really like online all that Ooh. much kind of thing. Well, you know my celebrity crush. Kind of like, yes, I do. Know your celebrity crush. But kind of like a Paul Mezcal type. That's, my celebrity crush would fit that perfectly. Yeah. I actually have two celebrity crushes. Is it him and Harrison Dick? Dickinson. Wait, who's him? No, Aaron. Who? Aaron. Who is that? He's this amazing Spanish actor, rapper, and he is absolutely gorgy, gorgy, gorgy. And he is someone I don't think I could pull. Okay. Can you look him up now and sure. tell me? Can you spell and it? And I don't want you to lie. Everyone look him up now so you can ask. And th this episode of the call is, can Veronica pull that guy? This episode is called <laughs> Can Veronica Pull That Guy? I was giving you some goodies. Um, what's his name? How do you spell it? A-R-O-N. A-R-O-N. Aaron. There's a couple of he, these. He dated Dua Lipa and FK Twigs at the same time. And I've talked about it on this so, podcast. So I'm just going to say that the first thing that comes up is this. Okay, no. Okay, let me just. This is this. Okay. Well, give I it just to want me. everyone else to see. Give it to me. I want everyone else to see that this is what comes up when I type that in. How can they see when this is a podcast? Because okay, can I what go? came up was the Pokemon. You were talking about the musician. Yes. Okay. Very interesting. This was not what I was expecting. What do you mean? 
I was not expecting you to. That's not him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just fucking look it up? Okay, now I'm pissing me off here. Now I'm confused. I was that's because not first him. it was a Pokemon. The next time it's a Korean pop singer. Oh my god, dude! So who is it? Then let me have the computer instead of you j guessing. I said it was Spanish. <laughs> I can't with you. Pissing me off. Okay, what? Why can't I? It's Aaron Piper is his name. This okay. is him. This is him. I need to go to Instagram. Oh my god. Oh my god. Eleven point nine. Yeah. Okay. He's get like you. You see what I'm saying? This is. He's tall. This is how I know. Oh baby. This is what I know that you like. You love a little mustache. I do love a little mustache. I love a little tattoo. You love a little mustache. You love some. Some tatted. I do like a little like. Well, it depends. Something tells also, me. Also, I love Andy Samberg. Like that. Like I haven't even seen it yet, but something is telling me that this guy has, like, just absolutely pearly white teeth. He's not showing them though. He has nice teeth. I think he's a little gap, which actually makes it even better. No, that's fine. I, I'm just saying pearly white. Oh god. Gap, no gap, whatever. Look at that. Yep. Pearly. White. So what do you think? Could I? I think you could pull him. Thank you. This because is the I best think your podcast ever. Because I think you're wrong about guys and not being into funny girls. I think being funny and making somebody laugh is one of the most attractive things for any person. I think. So I don't think it matters, boy, girl, whatever. I think maybe we just see it more often or something like that. Thank you. So who would, okay, this is my question. If like, as I brought this up, when I was thinking of yours, did you have someone in your head that you were going, I wish she says this person? No. Really? I was just curious to see where you would go. Who is a person that you think you could date that's a celebrity? I don't know. I don't think about that stuff. I'm just asking right now. Someone that I think I could date that's a celebrity. I used to think, and this is, you know, far out of the realm of possibilities at this point, but I used to think that... Um, because, you know, Selena Gomez was single for so long. <laughs> I used to think that oh, I was like, you know what? Either. If we ever ran into each other. You could do it. We'd get along. <gasps> and we have things that we can connect on. <laughs> we do. I know you do. On I'm, a much deeper, I'm obsessed with your crush on Selena Gomez. It's not a crush, really. I just, I just had the feeling that that would be the case. I think she's- I also think, I think Clara she, would be a good one for you. I think that she's very beautiful. And she is. And, you know. I'm happy for her. I'm happy for her as well. Um, but I never, I wasn't like crushing like. Yeah. In any sort of way. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I did think at times, I was like, you know what? If we ever met. You could do it. That, that could go. See, I want to play this game with you, but my answer is I think you could pull. Well, who do you think has more game? You. Yes. I have way more game. I've I feel like maybe we've talked about this. I have zero, zero game. game. <laughs> you which have, you have zero game. Which in turn Which often, I love about you. Often works in my favor. Zero yeah. game kind of becomes the best game. I disagree. Because there's this lack of interest that comes up. Even though I'm not actually actually not interested. It's just that I'm like, I don't really know what to do or say right now. And so because of that, I don't do or say anything. <laughs> and because of that, Aww. girls think, yeah. why is he not talking to me? Yeah, What am I doing wrong that he's not interested in me? And really Aww. it's just, I'm standing there like scratching my chest. Like, uh, I don't know what to say. It's cute. It's, it's cute. how that goes. Good, good. That's why that, that's why everyone likes you because you're you're. That's why everyone likes. That's me. why everyone likes you because yep. you're approachable and shy, and you're not you're not a fuckboy. 
I've recently started to, and then even okay. after like volleyball yesterday, I get a little like, I start to think about how I come off to people. Mm. And I feel like I'm actively trying because people have told me before that I'm a bit cold on a first encounter, which I don't feel. I just am not the most talkative. I like to listen. I like to let people talk. And I ask questions as opposed to the opposite. And so, and I also don't want to be like too like, forward kind of thing. That's what I'm like. I know, but for whatever reason, I just, I don't know. And then I, like yesterday, our friend texted you after we left volleyball and he was like, were you guys upset leaving when we were just tired and whatever? And so I worry though sometimes that my relaxed demeanor is coming off as being mean or mad or something. No, like, I think people think you're shy, but that's it. Really? Yes. Did you have a Zen last night too? Your new thing? That's not my new thing. Kyle's new thing is Zen, everybody. That's not true. Kyle's I, addicted no, to Zen. No, 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 I know no, his no, parents no, 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 this. no. He's addicted to Zenning. I am not. I tried my first Zen. I tried a Zen. And? I was nervous to try it. And? I liked it. Because I'll tell you what, okay? I have... It didn't make you... I almost threw up when I zinned. I've signed off. I was spitting. I've you signed know, pre, off. pre-puke spit. I've signed off on cigarettes. cigarettes. And I used to be the classic drunk smoker. And I didn't even, I would never buy, like I never bought a pack of cigarettes. It was just always like, can I bum one, whatever, this is happening. I want to see you with a cigarette. I feel like that looks so hot. Once every two weeks, you know, I'm having a cigarette. But then I was just really starting to feel the next morning, like extra hungover. Yes. I, but, already, but the I already am Go feeling- Go back to the Zen. Well, I am, but I'm just going to get there. I'm already feeling so- just like hung over from drinking. And now on top of that, I have this yep. just terrible taste in my mouth and all this stuff, but whatever. The zen. But I loved the rush of the nicotine. I loved it. And because it's nice, you know, people know. And so I see a zen, everyone's doing all the zen. There's all this talk about zen, this and that. Jennifer Aniston, Jennifer Aniston, Zend, Zendaya, all these different things that people are saying out in the streets, right? That I'm hearing about. Okay. All the lingo. And so, you know, we have a friend who is our roommate whose name will not be mentioned because I'm not going to out him like that. No, we can't out him like that. But he does live with us. He does live with us and work with us. And work with us. His name name starts with an M. And rhymes with But we're never gonna But we're not mentioning him. him. We're not going to out him. No. And he buys in wholesale. (laughs) That's so Online. That's so fucked. But if you're going to do it, I will say it's a smart idea. It's way cheaper. Yeah. Way, way, way cheaper. That's so But then you just end up doing it more or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. So anyway, we're with some buddies. And a friend pulls out the wintergreen three milligram. Michael's, or our friend is always rocking the six (laughs) milligrams. And um, I tried the three. And I'm looking into it because- I've said this many times before, but I had a terrible experience smoking spice in high school that really messed me up at that time. It made me really anxious and all this stuff. And I was very afraid to try anything ever again, which is why I haven't done any psychedelics, anything like that. So much so that I was kind of afraid to try Zin. I was afraid to put a nicotine pouch in my lip. And then I said, fuck it. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to put this thing in. Mind it's you, gonna, this is at a dinner table. It's going to be fine. Out outside, 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 outside. We're outside at a dinner table. I put it in. Um, I did not go upper decky, as people like to say. I went in my lower lip and I let it in. And it was cool. It was very chill. Um, the way it was that the it, lo- lower nicotine one, right? Yeah, the three milligram. The way that it hits compared to smoking a cigarette is very comparable to how... Uh, an edible hits compared to smoking weed. Whereas when you smoke weed, it's instant. I've never done an edible. Smoking cigarette, you're just like immediately hit by it. When you put this in your mouth, it kind of like slowly comes on. And then the beauty of it is that kind of like a cigarette, it's 
Makes one drink the, into two drinks. No, the longer you keep it in, the more obviously nicotine that you're getting in you. So you can take it out whenever. If you only want like a little bit of that three milligrams, you just take it out. Were you good. like this? Like, were you like this? No, it just felt like a very minor nicotine. Buzz. Like a cigarette? Like a cigarette. A little different. Wow. But it was nice. And it came on like really smooth as opposed to heavy like a cig. Like when you hit a cig, it hits. It hits. And yeah. Whoa. I tried my first Zen. I unfortunately, okay, well, I've tried Zen one time and I can't do it again because everyone knows my history of uh, the gum grafting, which I'm still not done with. I do my bottoms now, everybody. Um, and I don't, I'm not a smoker. I'm not, I'm not a smoker. I'm not a joker. I'm, I'm a night Um, No, I uh, truly, whatever. So uh, this was maybe three Christmases ago. Three. And I'm home. I'm in fucking Canada. And I'm, and it's Christmas. I'm out of the bars. I'm like showing off a new outfit. I'm going, look, guys, look, guys, she's home. She's home. I want to, I want to catch up with my high school buddies. I want to see which ugly guys that, which hot guys that uh, bullied me are now ugly, I'm at the bars. So then I get a little tipsy and I'm invited to this after party. And this after party, mind you, is with six people. So is it an after party? Not really. And I, long story short, um, this person was is an athlete that had the party and has actually uh, won medals in the Paralympics. And so I'm looking at all these, I'm buzzing now. I'm looking at all these medals. Off the nicotine? No. This is buzzing off the, the, the drinks? The drinks. Okay. And I'm putting on these medals. I'm looking in the mirror. I'm taking selfies. And... Then he's like, do you want to try? They're all Zen. And I was like, fuck, give me some of that. Give me some of that. I love, love me that. And yeah, I ended up in the bathroom doing a little spit take. Going. Needing to go back home. Needing to go home. So here's the thing. Well, how long? How long did it take of you putting it in your mouth? (sighs) Three minutes, four. That's it. Yeah. Oh, wow. And the, I was like ro- rocking. I was like, like hot flashes. And it was a terrible experience. Uh, took a cab home in the winter snow and uh, never tried to zen after. I have to pee so bad. Can I pee? I ha- it's like a 10. <laughs> I, everyone's seeing all these liquids. I'm Go peeing. pee. Go I'm pee. Peeing. Go pee. <laughs> Go pee. Connery, this is where you make a cut because I'm not going to talk while she's not here. But we miss you. I'm back. That also reminds me of a story. Oh, sit down. It also reminds me, audio listeners only, I may have just flashed my boobs to the camera. This is why you have to listen. This is why you have to watch it as well as listen to it. Do both. Give us both those streams. Give us both the streams. So this reminds me of Chew. Yeah. That was the big one. Dip. Really? And I remember trying that in high school at a party because I was very curious, but girls weren't allowed to try that. So I remember doing it in a closet at a party. I hid in a closet- that and then, and then the guy, and then this, I think maybe like my boyfriend at the time, like open was like, "What are you doing in here?" And I was like, "Nothing." Nothing. Yeah, but nice. I, I, um, there was a similar thing to this called snus. Whoa. High school it was a little pouch thing, but I think it was tobacco. Was yeah. the difference was that it was tobacco it in a was pouch? In, that's what I thought Zen was when they still put it in when a pouch. it came. No, it's just nicotine salt. There's a lot of research and studies done right now that say it's really not bad for you, you shouldn't 
get yourself addicted to nicotine if you're not smoking cigarettes already. But if you are smoking cigarettes, then, then swap. Then it's a good way to get off of cigarettes, is what I've read. Interesting. However, these are studies that are coming from, you know, Philip Morris, I think, which is the guy, the company that owns uh, Parliament and uh, Marlboro. So, you know, they used to say that cigarettes are good for Ooh. you. There, I saw this video where he was like, um, there's nothing that suggests smoking cigarettes while pregnant is bad for your baby. As a matter of fact, the baby comes out in a lot Healthier. of cases smaller, which a lot of women prefer. Fuck. <laughs> Insane. Awesome. Yeah. They come out smaller, awesome. which people prefer. Should we, th- should we thank some people? Yes, we should. But really quickly, Philip yeah. Morris bought it from a Swiss or a Swedish company. Yeah. I can't think of what the Swedish company's name is, but they were making Zin for a while. They have been around Zin since 2014. And they're like just now in the past, I'd say like two years becoming really Rock popular. In. I mean, right now they're at peak popularity. Definitely. But yeah, since 2014. I think they could take it all the way. I think they I think they can become even bigger. Their branding is on. It's very similar to that of like how White Claw became so yeah. big, you know? Yeah. It's just like Yeah. And there's all this whole culture around it, so bro culture, culture, fucking corporate whatever. I watched a little video essay about it. It's pretty interesting. All right. All right. It's time to think our We're, special guests. Our sponsors. Our sponsors S- of the of the show. Since we don't since we don't have since what? S- since we're not selling AG1 or or anything for that or matter mattresses the only thing i'm selling is love is and good. laughter and life these good looks and these good looks so here we go and this is Cue when the music, the music. <clears throat> I've got keys. I've got a lot of keys dangling on my chain. I've got a lot of keys and a lot of doors. Oh, where would they keep in store? I've got a key over here and a key over there. And what will I decide to do? Oh, open up. seem to open me door. Who are you? I'm the toad, the toad of the castle. Thanks for unlocking the door. <laughs> toad! Hey, you let that toad get away. No, I didn't. Toad! Why didn't we book it? <laughs> no, that what? toad just escaped. Who you, are you? I'm the headmaster. No, the toad, the, the toad's toad in my just, pocket. No, the toad the toad, escaped. The toad's in my pocket. The toad escaped. He's squeaking down the Let's hall. Let's go get him. I see him. <laughs> Let's go get the toad. <laughs> oh, Mr. Toad. Where are you, Mr. Toad? Hey, He's stop gone. it. He's gone. You let the toad go. No, I'm still chasing oh, after him. No, I'm decided to chase after the toad. You can't get him. That's the problem. No, You try it's to not. chase him and listen I'm literally to me. running after him right now. And I'm, and I'm running beside you. You can't catch him. He's Why? the uncatchable toad. Why? Because he's been locked up for a thousand years in that door that you just opened. Great. So and I'm going to go get him now so I can fix it. Catch what do you him. mean? I can because I can go find him. Uh, there's and right my wrongs. So many people have been trying to catch this toad for years. But he was no, no, no. He was just ca- wait, wait, wait. You, you just said he was. Ca- you just said he was in there for thousands of years, and I just opened the door, and now he's escaped. So no one was chasing after him. They were thousands and thousands of years ago. And now it he's took, escaped again. Yes. It so took, someone caught him and put him in 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 yes, the, in the but it toad was not jail. a single person. It was an army. What? Two of us. An army. Do you and I? At least sixty, at least sixty folks. What's What's your name? We could be an army. My name's Peter. Peter's Peter Span Bucket. Hmm. Mine's Frull. 
for all. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Okay. So, why don't we go after the toad? Well, we could try, but we're going to need a a, a, a battalion. I, I don't want. I don't want to step on any toes here. But it's looking like you're a bit. Are you a bit lazy or is it scared? I'm not quite sure what's going on. This toad is not just a toad. You see, this toad is a shapeshifter. Huh? His normal state is toad. However, he can switch into any living creature. What? A bird, a beast, a bee, a badger, a bird, a bull. No, he can't do that. A bison. He can turn into any creature. A banana. Any creature. A banana. No. Oh, I was just hungry. But to catch him, we won't be able to do it ourselves. For searching for him has now become quite impossible. No, I don't believe you. I think we can go after him. We'll need together. an army. We'll need an army. An army. Yes. I have no friends. I'm just the key guy. <laughs> Open up a door. Find something more. Close the door. Oh, it's on the floor. Oh, how can we get a little army when you and I are just frolicking? Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me. Where can we get an army? And how many folks can we get? Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me. Can we get an army? And can we get them in the next two minutes? Yes, we can. You okay. see, I have a secret, secret society. These folks have been training for a very long time. And I think that if it is so very possible, we may be able to get them together to catch the toad. Right. Well, do your thing then. Okay. Calling on Finn Bruce, Lucy Walker Cox, Sarah Dolstrom, Zan, Aaron Ruggiero, Katie Chase, Eric Burke, Hayden Kuhn, Adrian Dubicki, Colada Arsenberg, Lily One of One, Bad Sick, Ashlyn, AO People Sponsor, Martin Legrand, Bella Pradika, Low Lee, Jack Bloor, Raw Australia, Holden McGroin, Hardmine Riley, Sophie Serenkowski, Kelly Beach, Hot Sauce Haley, Dana Creesman, Monster Wisa, Louis Louis, Louis Louis, Hannah Newson, Daniel Vinard, Poppy Davies, Bell Stone, Emily Faith, Willie One of One, Coco, Mia Babadia, Andre Sanchez, Ali, Ben Hare, Favi, Antonio Mora, Josiah, Maggie Moran, and Mackenzie, Deals for Reels, Isabel Ferrier, Danny Manny, Mazin Arbogabia, Stinky Yale, Jamie McPentagon, Adriana R, DJ Khaled Sticker Girls, You the Best, Haley Nelson, The Joy Hotel is the best band in the world, Austin, Fertigalicious, Taylor Lanier, Lily Cinquanta, Betsy T-Bone Cornbread, Matthew Van de Pute, Bank, Ruby, Veronica and Kyle, our friends in real life, ha 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 ha, Rob Dog, Bow Wow Wow, Savannah Luard, Luand, aka Lil Pip. <gasps> These are the ones that the I call army. upon to catch. We must catch that toad. And then we will re- re- enter. We must catch that toad. And then we will re- One more time. We will catch that toad. And then we will reverse time. And scene. And scene. We'll catch you next time, guys. We love you so much. And we love you so much. And And we'll catch you next time. And in the bonus episode coming up right now. We're doing it right now on the Patreon. Patreon. We love you. Good night. Good night.